This is Pastor Dan Garrett, and I'm here with your weekly construction update. And today, we're going to show you the new gallery space and how it connects and flows here from the east entrance. So I'm standing here right in front of our new east doors that go out onto the parking lot. And as you come into this atrium area that's right next to the offices, you can kind of see that it's, uh, it's two stories up. This has been done for a little while, and some of us were able to get into this space before we had to close down in March. This is all pretty well from the floor up, uh, finished or very close to being finished. We're just waiting for the flooring in this area to get put back in uh, as they do the same with the gallery space. So as you walk through here, uh, you can see where the old doors were uh, here on the floor. The men's restroom that was always here before, that's still there, but with a new door. The women's restroom that's right behind this area with the coat racks, that's still there, but it's accessible through a door now on the side in the hallway. This is the part though that's really exciting, that as it comes in a little bit further, we have now two additional family restrooms that have been added here where there used to be offices. And then it opens up into the new gathering space. Now they're in the final stages of getting this finished. There's some ceiling tiles that are beginning to go in. Obviously, again, the flooring needs to happen here. Some of the last door finishings are done, but we already have paint on the walls in here, waiting for some uh, outlet covers and those kind of things. We can begin to get a sense of just how expansive this new area is. Not only is it much, much wider uh, than the old space, but it has glass that gives you a kind of an expansive feeling. The ceiling has been raised from what it was in here before. Over here, you were just looking at this, this little nook in the corner. There's gonna be a coffee serving area, and you can see the cabinetry beginning to go in for some of that. It's gonna be right here in that corner. Our coat areas are still here. In fact, they've been moved a little bit. The two coat areas used to be there and there. We're keeping this one. We're moving this one over here to what was Becky, our parish nurse's office. That's going to be the second coat area. This here is going to be storage. What used to be Jane's office is now a storage room. Those doors just got put in, I think, in the last couple of days. And then what was the original first coat area here next to the elevator is now a mechanical room uh, for this new section of the building. That old elevator is still there, it's still working, will be functional and available just where it sits. But as you move into this space, you can see uh, just how nice it is to be able to stand in here and to be able to have space for one another. How important it's going to be particularly now as we think about coming back to church uh, in a new time, in a new normal, to be able to have additional space to be able to stand and talk, an additional air uh, room, how important that's going to be. We never would have dreamed that when we first started planning this project. I think the glass in here is, is really stunning. Uh, it's going to be so cool at different seasons to be able to look out into the courtyard and to be able to uh, have that view of, of downtown and the side streets here from within our building. We've talked about as we uh, eventually get back to being in the building that maybe even we can use some of this for indoor seating for outdoor worship using sound technology to connect us in this room with what's going on outside. It's gorgeous. And uh, we cannot wait to be able to get people in here for you to be able to see it and to experience it. We don't know when that's going to be, of course, but uh, we know eventually it will happen. And when it does, it's going to be wonderful to be able to gather and create community in this space, something that we value now, maybe even more than before. So thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to follow the construction. And uh, yeah, it should be done pretty soon. Thanks so much.